Well, I was just standing down there in the wash and thought I should come up and take a look at this ridge right here. So, climbed up and there does appear to be some pictographs right here. Kind of faint. Huh. Found another ridge that I wanted to climb. And here's my reward. Oh, amazing. White anthropomorph. It looks to be a zoomorph with maybe horns. All right, let's get exploring. This is a cool find. I guess there's gonna be some more thing else here too. Oh, and some more. Let's get down on the ground to look at these. Oh, interesting stuff here. Well, this isn't exactly what I set out to find today, but I'll take it. Sometimes I go out looking for a specific thing and end up finding something else. That's always a bonus because I know the other thing is still here. Let's take another look and see if there's anything else right here. And then if not, I'll move on. This anthropomorph right here, another cave valley style. It appears to have been painted inside, but I can't tell for sure. So it's probably 18 inches across at the, eh, 15 inches at the shoulders, 18 inches across at the edges of the arms. these here that are a bit smaller. Well, before I left this little ridge, I thought I'd take a closer look at this rock right here. And I used D-stretch and there's another cliff right here. Oh, I'll definitely include some of the D-stretch images for this. But really faint, I wouldn't have noticed them without the app. So, glad I saw these. Well, it looks like I've got a little bit of a storm coming in, so I think we're gonna have to call this one a day. Well, I was out at this site a couple of weeks ago when the weather was much worse. And due to some technical difficulties, I came back to re-record these sections. First of these so-called water glyphs that we'll see today. This one is interesting in that it's got quite a deep cup and deep grooves, deep wide grooves. So the circle is probably, or oval, it's probably 18 inches across. And I'd say maybe 15 inches front to back. I wanted to share a couple of things I've noticed about these. Uh, this one I just measured is sitting just about due east, just a couple of degrees off of east. Uh, next thing is most of these are on the edge of a, or a drop of some sort. All right, here's the view from down on the edge of the ridge. There's no markings that extend beyond the ridge, but you can definitely see how deep this and wide this is. There's a uh, little, um, almost four fingers wide, three, just more than three and approximately four feet long from the edge to the uh, to the cup. All right, well, still Rocky. Hey, so I'm here with Rocky today. So he's my hiking companion for the day. So just a little bit more about these glyphs. These are typically known as water glyphs in the Southwest area. So these water glyphs, if that's what we choose to call them, are typically found here just in the southwest, here on the Arizona Strip. The eastern edge is just about to the Colorado River on the east. To the western side is just before the Hurricane Valley. Interesting thing. I think in literature they're typically referred to as cup and channel glyphs, which may be a better description for them. All right, so here's the second of these glyphs for today. This one 
points in the direction of southeast, about 140 degrees. This line is probably six feet long and maybe only a half inch deep and inch and a half, two inches across. The circle at the top here is probably two feet across by 15 inches. Let's get down and get a little another look from down below the ridge. So this one is interesting. Hey, Rocky, come here. Come here. Okay, Rocky's back on his leash. But this is interesting because this line is not contiguous. There's a little valley in between. So they obviously, in that case, weren't made for running something through the channel. More maybe for a line of sight, for uh, direction finding. I think that's why people originally thought these were water glyphs to indicate where to find water. But usually these are found in areas with a fair amount of water and they're on the flat, which means you, if you don't know where they are, you have to look quite a ways before you find one sometimes. And if you do know where they are, you probably already know where the nearest water is. So I don't know that water glyph is the best description of them. So here's where it drops off, the line drops off at the ridge. And here's the other end of the glyph. Let's get on to the next one, which is actually very close to this one. Well, here we are at the third. Nothing too remarkable about this one. Points off in almost due west direction, different direction we've seen so far, but I don't know that that means anything. Who knows? Again, this one's got the fairly deep cup at the, at the circle end. Rocky, come here. Oh, the line is probably four feet across. The circle is, again, probably 24 inches by 15, maybe 27 by 15. So let's take a look from the bottom edge. No marks on this side. So typical of what we've seen so far. Still very curious of why they're here, who carved them, whether it's the Paiute, the Anasazi, uh, Navajo, it's really hard to say. So from this one to the next is a very short distance. So we'll go from here, around here, a couple more steps, and there it is. So what's interesting about this one is there is no circle at the end. So that's the cup, two secondary little cups, which we've seen at some, sometimes one, sometimes none, sometimes two. And this edge where it runs off the capstone here. Interesting glyph. You know, this one's a bit of an outlier. Does it mean the same? Maybe. All right, so it's in between glyphs. And here's a couple of pieces of pottery to set on the ground. But both of them are a smooth wall, about a 3 16 thick. Both of them maybe had a little bit of an orange glaze to the outside. But there you go. So one thing that always piques my interest is when I see a little alcove like this at the top of a top of a wash. So let's get up and take a look. Well, I'm at the little alcove. So let's see what's here. Maybe nothing, maybe something. Well, not seeing anything yet. 
There's another alcove here next. So let's go to that one. And here we go. This is why this is why I check. So got a pretty good sized panel right here. Some zoomorphs, anthropomorphs. Another anthropomorph that seems to be somewhat newer, definitely brighter. Yeah. Some geometric patterns, zigzags, etc. Along this. So. Interesting little panel. Well, I guess that's it for today. So, seen some interesting stuff. And combine this with the previous video, and I think we'll have something. So, stay safe, enjoy the outdoors, and visit respectfully. Bye, all.